Hey guys, so this is part 6, actually, the last part was part 5, sorry if I confused you, um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna actually look at the Yosef's original, and he's a bit more paler than this one here, so I'm actually going to select his layer again, and I'm going to take the color from this one here, which is like nice solemn gray, I'm just gonna go color, solid color, and I'm gonna choose it from his face here. Or it's a peach color, actually, and I think I'm going to set it to, what can we do to make him more, <clears throat> saturation, and I'm going to lower the saturation down, so that he's not so pale, yeah, he's pale now, and there we go, so the color for that one is C, B, A, E, A, 4, okay, so now we have all this done, we're going to merge Joseph's into his group, close his group, and close the Mr. Girl's group coloring. Then we're going to do the coloring to the image, like so. Come on, click that. Now we're going to do this coloring. So, the first color we're going to have a gradient, and the first gradient is going to be a dual gradient, and the color is E. It's going to be 8, 3, 6, 6, 5, 8, 2 white, and it is set to soft light at 50%. I'm just going to drag it over. And the second one is another gradient. It's black to white, or I would say gray, 070606, and it's this here on your gradients. And it's set to luminosity at 100%. Next one is a, another dual color or triple color. So I suggest you click a three color one to change the colors. And the first one is BC7471. The second one is DEA084. And the last one is FDC88E. And this one set to soft light and 100%. And then the fourth gradient map is these are all gradient maps, by the way. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. Um, it's a peach pale, a pale peachy color, and it's E3VF9D to a white. And this one's also set at soft light at 26% opacity. And the last gradient map is a triple color. The first one is, oops, first one is at zero of location, and the color is 1, E, 2, 3, 2, 7. The second one is at 30% location, and the color is 6, 1, 1, 4, 2, 8. And the last one is a pale gray, D, 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 C. C5, so that's 4Ds, C5. Click OK, 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 and this is set to luminosity at 23%. So drag that over. Now that we have that done, we I did add a vibrance layer, but since I'm using Photoshop CS3, it's not going to show. So to delete that, and you can just add a hue and saturation layer to buff up the hue and saturation of your image to give it more color, like so. Click OK, and let me drag this one over here too. And now that that's done, you have your coloring. So I'm going to close this because that's all we needed from that. And here is our poster. Now, um, we can do text if you want. Um, but for now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to stop this video at here. And I hope you guys like. Um, I might make another video with the text. If not, you'll see this up on YouTube without that part. But if so, you'll see it with it. If not, you'll see it without it. Um, but yeah, I most likely will do it though. So, um... I hope you guys like this tutorial. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And once again, this is Evelyn. Bye.